I got the Xiaomi Redmi 7 right here. And this device has been imported from China, so it does not have the Google Play Store installed by default. So to fix this, I'm going to show you how to install the Google Play Store as well as all of the other Google services that are required in order for applications from the Google Play Store to work properly. So we're going to start this by opening up the regular Me App Store, which you should see this on your home screen right here. We're just going to open that up agree and get past this first splash screen. So we're going to do that by first going to the search box up here. I'm going to tap it again to bring up our keyboard. Now if you need to download the English language it's going to pr uh, pop up and prompt you to download that and then we can switch between these keyboards by using this button right here. So in the search box, I'm going to type in Google. And then do a search. Now we're going to see a couple of applications right here. You can look for this specific icon if you want. Or we can go to the actual application page itself by tapping on that second icon. Either way, you're going to be taken to this application page. And again, that specific icon is important because that is the Google Play installer application. So from here, we're going to tap on install. And again, we can tap on, we could have tapped on install from the other page. Doesn't matter, it's completely up to you. Just so go ahead and tap on install. It's going to download this application, it's going to install it, and then we're going to tap on the open button right here to open up the Google Play and Google Play Services installer. From here we have a bl big blue button, just go ahead and tap it. What it's going to do is going to download these applications and it's going to install them one by one. But for that to happen, we need to first allow this specific application to install other applications. So once we see this pop up right here, we're going to tap on settings. We're going to allow that application to be installed by tapping on that toggle. And then we can go back. From here, we are going to be first installing the Google Services Framework. So once we have granted this application permission to install applications, we're going to go back and then we're going to tap on the install button down there at the bottom. Now you all saw that there was a done button down there. You can tap that if you want. It's not needed. The application is programmed to go from one app to the next. So now we are at the Google account manager. Again, we're just going to install it. And we're going to wait for the app to move on to the next app. If at any time one of these apps gets stuck and it does not take you to that next app, then naturally, yes, we can tap on the Done button. And that will trigger the second app that we're going to install. At least that should trigger that next app we're going to install. So as you can see, this process is going to get a bit repetitive. We're going to install an app, go to the next one, install that app, go to the next one, go to install that app. And again, this is because a lot of the applications in the Google Play Store require certain services like Google Play Services and the Google Play Framework and Google Calendar Sync. A lot of these apps require these services to be installed and um, an active on your device in order for those apps to work. So say, you know, you download the Push Bullet app. You know, that app may need Google Contact Sync in order to do certain things. So this installer from the Me App Store is going to walk you through the entire process to get all of these apps and all of these application services 
installed on your device. See, now we have installed the Google Play Store. And this time we are given a done and an open button. I'm not going to open it from here, but if you want to, you can. I'm just going to tap on done. And I'm going to go through done on the other apps that were installed. That should take us back to the installer. So now you can see that we have a green check mark on each of the applications and services that we installed. And now that big blue button is now reddish orange to let you know that the Google Play Store application and all of its services are installed properly. So from here we're just going to go back to the home screen and once you get to the home screen you're going to see a new application you're going to see a couple of new application icons you're going to see that installer this is what we downloaded and installed from the me app store we don't need that anymore you can uninstall it remove it whatever you want but we now have the play store application so whenever we open up the play store application we're going to be asked to log into our google account So let me do that real quick. And there we have it. I have logged into my Google account. This will then bring me to the main Google Play Store page. And just using the example that I had before, just to show you, it's very easy to install applications from this. And it will work just like normal. So there you have it. That is how to get the Google Play Store and Google Play services installed on the Chinese version of the Xiaomi Redmi 7.